Okay, Assalamualaikum guys. So as promised, uh, I will make a video for you guys uh, for the uh, UBS lesson, UBS accounting software. Right, so we are going to start our first lesson for the UBS and I hope you already downloaded uh, your UBS app uh, from the CD uh, that you have bought. Okay, they are discussed dalam um, buku yang you guys beli tu lah. Right, so um, perhaps ada beberapa version in that CD. Uh, it could be um, accounting, ada payroll. Okay, so you have choose um, accounting in order to download and it will be appear at your desktop as the shortcut. Right, so double click uh, the icon and it will be appear like this one. Right, so di akan ada satu new window where you have to register your company. Right, okay. So we are going to uh, start the first lesson where in the questions, alright. So this one refer to your uh, workbook. In the questions, they will give you the transactions here, and this one is the profit and loss account uh, that the company already prepared manually for you, right? So this is actually where you can check your answer whether uh, you get the same net profit as they were, right? And also they provide you with the um you know with the chart of account, uh these accounts you have to create first in order to key in all the transactions up here right and next one uh, they provide you with the batches right so uh, dua uh, perkara ini adalah uh, wajibul guna for you to create or organize uh, meaning here you have to create the chart of account first here okay in order to key in the transactions right and also uh, you have to organize the batches these are what we call as batches. Batches means that groups. <coughs> um, so this group, uh, basically where you want to uh, allocate those transactions into that group, right? So perhaps if the transactions related to the sales, uh, so you have to group them under this uh, batch, okay? Meaning that batch number one, right? So if the transactions related to the purchases, so probably you can group them uh, into or allocate them uh, into the batch number three here, which is this journal, right? Okay. And uh, number three here, where you have to enter the transactions, right? So basically, these are actually the steps, right? So uh, in order to start your, uh, you know, in order to start to use the UBS accounting software. So these are actually the steps, right? So, memang lah the first one you have to register the company first here, but then after you dah masuk dekat dalam uh, the UBS itself, uh, these are actually the first steps that you have to do, right? Where you have to create a chart of account and then you have to organize the batches, and the third one you have to enter the transactions. So where are the transactions? Immediate. Okay, the transactions will be in uh wording lah dalam bentuk uh, ayat okay dalam bentuk statement right so you have to determine by your own whether they are purchases ke they are sales ke or you uh payment ke it's all about the payment or it's all about the receipt right so uh basically all those um transactions ini will be grouped into these batches here right and number four, when you have to view the reports lah, reports apa yang, um, <coughs> yang related lah. I mean, probably you can uh, like this one. Uh, they already prepared the uh, profit and loss account manually. So now, kita buat secara computerizing. So you can check whether your answer is correct or not um, by using UBS and also the manual. Right? So uh, those are actually the reports that you can view uh, ini apa yang kita akan belajar lah in this video right okay so first of all in order to enter into the uh, UBS uh, software itself you have to register the company so the company's name here adalah <coughs> Sunny Electrical Company right okay so uh, probably all the years Okay, tahun-tahun yang berada dalam buku ini adalah yang lama punya. So, perhaps you can change to the current one which is 2020. Right? <coughs> um, okay, so in order to register the company here, you have to click the add button. Write the company's name. Probably you can write down the Sun Electrical Company. Hmm. 
and also for the directory perhaps you can um you know uh, you can name the directory without spacing you can name anything you want uh, perhaps uh, yang senang you ingat lah yang senang you cari balik semua alright so I would like to rename them as July 20 lesson 1 ok after you have done that you can click button save so make sure the directory there is no spacing here right so after that you can click the button and you will see the companies that you have registered just now already will be up here right but then this space already here still okay still masih lagi di sini in order to um, <coughs> remove them you can <coughs> click button cancel right so it's either you double click the companies that you have registered before or else you can click the select button Right, sama. Right, for this part, you can click OK. Are you sure? Of course, yes. Okay, after it is done, 100%, click OK. And now for the password here, it is a default password, UDS. And click button sign in. Right, okay, for this one, I would like to recommend you to not amend or to not modify anything here right so this one you can just click next also this one jangan mesti apa-apa click button next while for this one perhaps you can select set up letter okay set up letter right and click button done okay and these are actually the surface of your UBS accounting software right okay so as you can see on the top here uh, there are a few uh, button or common all right so it is start from the zero until nine which is file general data creditors transaction report security housekeeping and also help right so i will give you the transactions by using the numbering okay if let's say uh, i would like to do the company setting uh if i say uh if i say uh 711 which means you have to do to seven one and one Right, so that is how the transactions work. Uh, I mean the, the instructions work. Right, um, okay, so if I say organized batches, meaning that you have to do to 4 2, which is 4 2. Right, so you will see, uh, dia punya, apa tu, dia punya common dia adalah secara numbering here. Right, 7 1 1, okay, it depends eh, pada, trans, uh, pada instruction saya lah. Right, okay, so. As for now, the first step that we uh, have to do is actually where you have to create the chart of account. Create. Create means that you can wujudkan lah account account ini in order for you to enter those transactions yang above ni tadi. Okay. So, dia dah bagi all the listing and all the details where you have to put in all the information into the, uh, you know, uh, the correct uh, space. Right, so in order to do that, you have to go to one one, which is one general and number one again, general ledger account maintenance. Right, okay, so there are a new menu here where you have to uh, create the chart of account. Okay, uh, where there are a few particulars here that you need to fill up accordingly to the um, to the details or information provided in the questions. Right, so in order to start, you have to click the add button. Right, and your cursor will be up here at the account number. And the account number is on, on this column, right, in this question, uh, which is 1000 slash 000 and the account description capital is on type A. So perhaps you can write down everything here, where account number here, account description here, and the account type A here will be it's either you want to type or it's either you can click here in order to choose them right so i will start with 1000 for the capital you can enter okay tekan button enter ataupun you tekan button tap okay so enter where your cursor will be moved to the account description space uh right and the account descriptions here it will be the capital as we are currently doing the first one Right, so we move forward to the account type.